This video focuses on managing accounts payable as well as other expense type transactions related to your vendors and suppliers. So I can click on transactions here and go to expenses. And this is where I would click new transaction and I can create a bill or an expense or a check or even a purchase order. And we'll do that in a second. There's also the plus sign at the top of your QuickBooks Online. And under vendors, you have expense, check, bill, pay bills, purchase order, vendor credit, credit card credit, and then you can print checks from here. Vendor credit, that would be the credit you would apply to an open bill to help with the payment, if you will, if your vendor gave you a credit. Now, expense is interesting, and I like working from this expense transaction because if you're used to QuickBooks Desktop, there's an actual credit card charge form. So the credit card charge form here would actually be an expense transaction. So if I click New Transaction and go to Expense, or I could have done it from the plus sign, really up to you. And then I'm just going to choose, you know, Amazon anyway. And I can choose the credit card, and the payment method is going to be the American Express, right? And this will make it actually a credit card charge. It's really a credit card expense. And then I can choose accounts or items, depending on what I'm buying. And we'll say this was at for advertising expense, and it was for a thousand bucks. And then you can go ahead and click save and new, or save or save and close. I can even make you know expense a check or a bill recurring as well, just by clicking make make recurring to create the actual recurring template for this credit card uh, expense. Now, much like on customer transactions, I can tag a location if you're doing any location or department tracking. I can also pass this expense on to a customer if I have QuickBooks Online Plus, because this allows me to add the customer field here, and I can make it billable, as well as I can do some class tracking uh, there. And you can have as many lines as you need, right, and put in the descriptions as well. Now, that's the account detail. Now, I have an item detail here. I'm going to, you know, how would you get that? Well, I have QuickBooks Online Plus, and we'll go over more of this when we go over two-sided items and inventory. But in QuickBooks Online Plus, I can have two-sided items. So I could actually have an item here that I'm purchasing that's linked to, say, you know, uh, a cost of goods sold account or something like that. So we'll say you bought 100 books as well. And again, make it billable, tag it to a customer. You want to do a markup or tag a class. All that is available on expense, a check, or a bill. I'm just going to go ahead and click Save and Close here. And that's my credit card expense, if you will, and here it is, 33.25. And the expense transaction window is great because I can filter it just looking at, you know, expenses only or maybe bills only, and by date range or by vendor as well as by category. So you can do some good sorting there. So it's almost like a list report of your vendor transactions or expense transactions. And uh, you can also do some batch actions, print or catalog, uh, categorize selected. You can clear the, the filter pretty quick there as well. So again, creating new transactions from here or the plus sign for vendors, as well as, you know, printing checks or going to pay bills. Now a check, you know, we could just look at a check and it's going to look kind of like the expense form, except it's going to say check. So again, I could choose a payee here. We'll say Amazon again. In this case, it was just, uh, yeah, it was some items we bought. Miscellaneous cables to be exact. And we'll just say it costs 2500 bucks for them. And again, save and close. So I'm just creating expenses. Now, if a check number exists, let's go to some settings because it's important things. Uh, you can get a pop-up just like if you used to in desktop when, you know, so it's not a duplicate. So if we click the gear icon and go to company settings under settings, and we can click on expenses. In QBO Plus, and again, if you want two-sided items or actually to be able to tag a customer onto expense to pass through an invoice, you're going to need QuickBooks Online Plus. So here is where I can show the items table on expense and purchase forms. Neither Simple Start or Essentials will have that. Uh, Simple, Simple Start and Essentials will just have the ability just to tag the account. Here's where I can track expenses and items by customer, also something for Plus. And if you want to make expenses and items uh, billable as well to pass it through. So, and then, of course, your default bill pay terms, uh, bill payment terms, excuse me. And if you want to use purchase orders, also you need QuickBooks Online Plus. So make sure you go to your company settings to turn on everything you need that has to do with expenses before you start entering them. Before I get to managing accounts payable, I'm going to start with a purchase order. I'd like to go to reports, all reports, and then review expenses and purchases. And your expenses by vendor reports a great one to run as well as transaction list by vendor. We'll look at that one and it gives me my transactions and you know, I can change the date range and run the report and it'll show all my transactions by vendor. And of course, see here's my Amazon. Do a lot to Amazon. You can customize it. And we also have some redesigning going on with our reports. So let's look at expenses by vendor summary. 
and this is at the time of this video, we have classic reports and kind of some new reports. Um, but soon all the reports will, will take on this look. But here's my expenses by vendor summary. And what about managing accounts payable? Right again, I can click the plus sign, I can enter a bill here and then go to pay bills if I want to, or I can do it from that transactions expense window, and I can actually create a bill here if I want, or click the drop down and pay bills. Another way to do it. But I'm going to go to vendors, click on purchase order. I can click on here to look at the purchase order, or I can click on to create a bill. Uh, in the action column. And actually, if I just click the plus sign and go to bill and choose the particular vendor, the drawer is going to pop out on the right and there's a purchase order. So I can go ahead and add that. And there were items that I'm purchasing. And now I have a bill. Right. I could add account details, but these are just items here and the items are linked to accounts. Again, you can make bills recurring as well, but this is going to credit AP and debit the cost of goods sold accounts or expense accounts that are linked to these items. I believe it's all cost of goods sold. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And much like when we were looking at customer transactions in other videos on QuickBooks University, you can go to the transaction journal, which is basically your control Y report and see what was debited and credited behind the scenes. So now I can go pay the bill under vendor pay bills. So I can pay multiple bills here and I can even filter you know, by different date range and then look at just some particular payees. In this case, we'll look at bake accounting. I'm going to apply that filter and I have three bills for them. They're overdue. So I can go ahead and pay them. They're checked off. And I click save and print. Now, if I had any vendor credits, the amount would show up right here that you could just apply and go ahead and click save and print. When you are printing it, you'll be brought to this wizard to make sure the amount goes into the correct field, you know, for the envelope. I'm going to go finish with setup and then go ahead and you can print it out from here. Of course, I could go pay a bill from the expense transaction window as well. Just look in the action column. A lot of these lists will have an action column and it'll show the next logical step in the workflow. Now you can manage your accounts payable by clicking on reports and then going to all reports and then manage accounts payable. And we have an AP aging summary. You got a vendor balance detail report. Bill payment list, unpaid bills, that's a good one right there. What bills have you not paid yet? There is AP aging summary, as well as, like I mentioned before, the expenses by vendor summary. But all reports are going to take on this new look eventually.